All right, here we are. One more quick video before uh, we head back home. I may stop uh, in the Topanga Canyon area there just to grab a coffee. Seems to be my new, my new Sunday thing to do. Um, but um, I know part of that video got cut off last time, so I want to kind of touch on what we were talking about last time. And that is basically starting to think about who you are um, in terms of what will ever be. Meaning, try to be happy with who you are because a lot of the characteristics that you may possess that you probably are getting pissed off with because you can't seem to solve will come to help you one day. And maybe that day hasn't come yet. Um, and it can be frustrating and it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to always improve who you are but you shouldn't also sh you should also not fight who you are as well um, there's something beautiful about you and too many times people are fighting who they are and what they are and they wish they were another way I want you to know something if let's use some of these actors and all these famous people as, as examples you know some people will say oh I wish I had that lifestyle they're superficial lifestyles anyway you know, having met some of these people, many of them actually who are quite wealthy or successful in whatever in their own way, the more I've gotten to know them, um, the more I would never ever ever want to be them ever. <laughs> Just by the way they think. Let's use the current situation that, you know, it's getting all the press these days and hopefully it keeps getting the press until the problem goes away, is uh, let's use President-elect Donald Trump. Um, you know, years ago, not even that many years ago, people say, look, this guy's super successful. Uh, I wish I could have his life with all the money and this and that, whatever. Do you really want that life? This guy has how many failed marriages? How many affairs probably, right? Um, the bankruptcies. Look, I'm not going to get into the election or who he is too much, but w what about that life would you like? I mean, you have to think a certain way to be okay with, having that lifestyle and when people say oh that person's successful you need to define your own version of success because when I see that I see that a person like that other people may see a success and maybe those people voted for him let me just fix the camera here maybe those people even voted for him right but the problem I see is with that whole thing is what's there to vote for or what's there to be impressed about there's nothing successful about somebody who's like that in my opinion, because I define success differently. For me, I define success as having a peaceful life, um, as having people around you that respect you, having a circle of people that are filled with positive energy that, that you know, fill your day up, um, having a, a good quality of life at home with your family, having a, a job that you like, doing good with and for and through others. Those are some of my definitions of success and certainly, um, I think there's a financial aspect to that too. You want to be financially successful as well so you can live a comfortable life. But <laughs> to me, when I, I, what I just described is, the comp is diametric to what that person is. Trump. There's nothing successful about him. He's divisive. He insults people. He disparages everybody that isn't him. Um, and you know he has multiple failed businesses. He's too scared to release his tax returns, I wonder why. Anyways, um, without going on too much of a tangent, I want you to define success as success. And I want you to look at your own life and find out and look at how you are already successful in many ways without even realizing. Don't throw the word success around as some blanket statement. If there's an area of your life you want to improve, improve, go ahead and do that. But find yourself successful the way you are right now. Look for those wins every day. Not everything you've done in life is a failure. Um, yeah, you've had failures along the way, but that isn't your life. If your life was a complete failure, you wouldn't even have a computer to look at this video that you're looking at right now, would you? You wouldn't be breathing. You'd be on life support somewhere in a hospital. Um, you know, I know people who made a million dollars, millions of dollars. They're doctors. They're healthy. They're super healthy. They look good. You know, women like, for on the male side, women love them. And yet... I hear them talk about how they're comp they have terrible genetics and their life is a failure, or their lives are failures, and I'm, I don't even know what they're talking about. I can't even... I mean, everybody else sees something totally opposite. So the real problem is reframing, because people often look at things upside down. Not the, way, not the way that... Their excuse may be, oh, well, I don't care what other people think. Um, it's what I think. 
and I think I'm a complete mess and a complete failure. Well, fine, but what's what's the point of being alive then if you're you're so devastated about all the great things? And it really comes down to framing. And that's why I want you to consider my words when I say you're already successful. And you're you're going to think, oh, no, you're crazy. You don't know my life. You don't know me. No, I don't know you. Um, but by virtue of the fact that you're even alive and breathing and looking at this video, you are successful in some ways. And you need to accept that because maybe you've talked badly about yourself for so many years that you can't even see the good things in your life or you can't even see all the greatness um, that you are already. So I want to just communicate to you guys that you guys are successful and look for the wins every day and dovetail off of those things. And don't look to other people's lives ever to look for, to other people's lives and say, well, that person's successful, why am I not? Really? Do you know what they went through to get to where they are? Or do you know what's actually going on behind, you know, door number one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Uh, my mom once asked she, me, like, how come these other guys are successful? Why did they get married and they found somebody? And I said, well, who are you talking about? And she had mentioned somebody who was one of my brother's friends who, you know, was a doctor and he came to the, I think he moved here from Australia or something. And he, he met somebody and he got married. And... She was getting concerned that my brother and I hadn't gotten married. And, you know, I explained to her, I said, what success, why does that make you think he's successful? He got divorced. This guy that she was referring to had gotten divorced within like six months to a year getting married. So I'm, I'm like, what, what's so successful about that? You want us to be like him? Okay, well, that is go marry somebody that wasn't the right person and get divorced. So there's a reason I'd, I'm happy to be the way I am even with my perceived flaws, because as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm super analytical, indecisive to others, uh, but pardon me, indecisive to others, but to me, I'm just super analytical so that I, when I make a decision, my decision is the correct one as soon as I make it, because I've thought about all the angles and I make a very informed choice when I make it. This is why I never get into hot water with anything. So look for your successes. My success is that while you see me as indecisive, I'm success successful because I'm very analytical and that's why I don't get into bad relationships and things like that. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm, I'm kind of rehashing the same thing, but I want you to know you're successful already and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, but more importantly, don't let you tell yourself otherwise. Find your wins every day and go with them and be happy with who you are and chip away at the things you want to change, but don't, don't take one character flaw that you see and make your whole life a, f a failure or, you know, unsuccessful. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one. I will talk to you later.